Western Washington and UC Davis, the Eagles, a playoff fixture, 13 FCS trips. This is the first FCS playoff for UC Davis, their first road playoff game under Dan Hawkins. What a job he's done in his second season. He's coached at several different levels, has taken this program to new heights, and Aaron Best, his first playoff trip as a head coach, 22-year vet of the Eagles program. Both Big Sky co-coaches of the year and a great atmosphere here. They know about good football in this part of the country. Well, for UC Davis, it's an opportunity to right their wrong. They felt like they had an opportunity to win the ball game here. They had an early 10-point lead. It got away from them, so they want to jump out early. They know they can score. They've got to maintain the scoring, and defensively, they've got to stand up to this high-powered offense from Eastern Washington. Andre Slider, sophomore from Kent, Washington, to kick it away on the red turf here, the Inferno, as we get underway here in the quarterfinal. The winner will meet the main Black Bears. Namani Modise will field this at the three-yard line. He's their threat as a return guy across the 25, and he's run out of bounds, at, along with Keelan Das, who will keep a close eye on arguably the best receiver at the FCS level. They'll run it on first down with you. Yards after the catch. He's a tough runner, and what I love about him is his willingness to go across the middle. And there is Das on Q five-yard line. Handoff, Gilliam right up the gut, has a first down in the scrimmage and occupy two offensive linemen to allow the linebackers to flow downhill to the ball carrier. Look at the time for Mayer, now he'll roll right, gonna tuck it and he's hit hard. Mayer, pistol formation, hands it off to Gilliam, trying to stretch it to the outside, down he goes, a big this drive going. Mayer steps up to the sideline. And it's going to be well short of the first down. That was something that they had an issue with in the last ball game. Daniel Whelan, who has put 25 inside the 20 this year, gets an end over end kick away. Simba Webster calling for the fair catch, and he makes it at the 10 year last year. Taking over for Gubrud, he's been very good. They'll go to a little screen pass to the. They send Webster in motion. Play action, Barrier rolling, dumps it off to Webster out of the slot, across the 15. And so he's done a good job, and he's undersized at 265 pounds. On third and one, they go to Sam McPherson, and he has a first down for Eastern Washington. He with 18 pass breakups. He's second team all-conference. Barrier to the air on first down, completes it to Terrence Cooper Cup. The All-American receiver now with the Rams. They have excelled running it as well as throwing it this year. Here's Barrier to the sideline. Andrew Boston, the catch, gets a block, and he is a... Very a impressive numbers this year, running and throwing it. They'll run it here, straight ahead with McPherson, hit by Bland, and hit a second time as he moves the pile. Come and pull at the football, tug at the ball, and get hits. On second and seven, it's McPherson again. Tough sledding, but moves that pile a couple yards shy of the first down to McPherson as a wide receiver, top of the screen. They put Dotson in motion. It's a quarterback keeper for Barry. Did he get there? Breach balance. How about that balance right there? Pass versus run. They've been as good as anybody. Here's Barry with a seam. 30. And he's bumped out. Reading what the defense was doing. After the 33-yard pickup, they go to the air. The tight end, Henderson Belk. And he's cut down inside. Big Sky, look at what they've done in the red zone this season. They've cashed in many times near the goal line. And to the air, Barry A, touchdown, Terrence Grady. And the Eagles strike first. When you run the football effectively, you get the defense on their heels. And that's what I saw on that touchdown play. You've got some defensive backs that look a little bit confused at the back end of this defense. Good job by the offensive line blocking. Easy pitch and catch for Barrier to Grady. Quick slant. Nobody's there to cover him up or play, make a play on the football. Roldan Alco Bendez, the six-year senior, one of the best kickers at the FCS level with a PAT. And he drills it 7-0. With the kick, Modise will get another chance to return it from his three-yard line. Namani across the 20. They try to hem him in. Now the Aggies work to do. They'll start from the 24. They sent Carson Crawford in motion and hand it off to Crawford. Trying to get to the outside. He's met right at the line of scrimmage. Before they can try and go east and west to get north and south. Mayer on play action. Pocket collapsing. Fires it late and incomplete. Blitz from Cup, intercepted. It's picked off by Mitchell Johnson. The 20, Barrier calling his own number, and he is met by Terrier in his sights from the get-go. Second and 11 now. 
Handoff, McPherson straight ahead, nothing doing. Quincy Bennett, four receiver look here. Pressure coming, Berrier stepping up, gonna run for it. Tripped up, formation, they'll go for it on fourth and one. McPherson trying to get to the edge, will not get it done. We'll kick a field goal. Well, let's see if that shifts momentum here. UC Davis needed something positive to happen. They'll start this series from the 14. They set up the middle screen for Das and Cross America, second and six. In the flat, it's Gilliam. He has a first down. Three receivers left this time for Mayer. Handoff straight ahead. Gilliam again. He's up to the 34. Mayer's number so far. Had the one interception he'd like to have back. Little shuttle into the hands of the running back and Toronto for the Aggies. Gilliam. Not much doing. Up to the 30. Mayer, all kinds of time, over the middle, Das has it, and it's a first down. Mayer to the sideline, catch made out of the backfield, it's Thomas, and he's bumped. Mayer, blitz coming, dumps it underneath, catch made by Jared Harrell, he has a first down, a stiff arm. Blitz again coming, backside, and the sack. Mayer with Ledbetter providing pressure, finds a man. Off with the officials. It's a playoff game. They just had a big play. Mayer underneath. It's a tight end, West Priest, and he's gang tackled at the 33-yard line. Daniel Whelan, the sophomore from Rancho Mirage, California, will try to pin him back here. End over end. It'll hit inside the 10, take a sideways hop, and roll all the way to the goal line. Did they get it down? They go with... Three running backs next to Berrier and run it. Defenders in the boxes. If the back gets to the second or third level, there's no one there. And he's able to get up the field. Substitute players in as well. Five receiver look here on first down. They'll run it with McPherson out of there. Right up the gut. They can run. Look at the numbers so far. A dominance in the November 10th meeting. Different story here. UC Davis, but no points on the board. Berrier looking to throw it this time. Rolling away from Bland. Bland's got him! But the number one thing, they can really run. Bland, a redshirt freshman from Modesto. Now a run up the middle for Merritt. Gets some of that yardage back and spins up. And up on the outside on the edge here on this third and long. Berrier under duress. Down he goes! From Hawaii, and they'll punt it from their own end zone now. Alco Bendez, end over end. It'll hit at the 43. It's returnable, but nowhere to go. Margin. Done a great job on that side of the ball. Short field now for Mayer to work with. Goes to the sideline. Gilliam the catch. Blocker in front. Still keeping his footing. And he has a first down. And go back to his left. After a six-yard pickup, Mayer to the air. Near sideline incomplete. And on the same. Pitch to Gilliam. Too good. Myers 10 for his last 11 since the interception. They're going to run it. They cross him up, up the middle. Gilliam, he finds the end zone. Touchdown, Aggies. 29 yards, and they cross him up with an excellent play call. And that's what I'm talking about. When you've got an aggressive defense like Eastern Washington, you bring Doss across for the jet sweep action. Everybody's going to react because they know he's a big-time player. And a good job by the offensive lineman to get a hat on a hat and allow for the back Gilliam to get up the field. No one touched him. A great play call by the UC Davis coaching staff. That is a dozen rushing touchdowns for the redshirt freshman. The extra point, I, I went the journalism not. route. This will be returnable. It's being up the field on the outside to not allow him to get north and south. They'll run it straight ahead and busting it up the gut. It would be tacklers. They're going to throw it to the side to Webster. I think when you play man, you've got linebackers that are flowing to the football. On second 11, they'll try to run to the edge. It's McPherson, and he will go empty set this time at five receivers. Berrier over the middle, short of the stick. That won't get it done. But 
Tries to kick it away from Modise, who lets it hit at the 25. Comes up on it now and makes the play. Losing 59-20 here. They turn the ball over five times in the first meeting. Playing well here in the postseason. Here's Carson Crawford. The wide receiver pass downfield. Caught by Harrell. Inside the 30. A little gadgetry and it works. Second of the game and the UC Davis run game delivering big dividends here in the first half. Well, the offensive linemen take huge splits. So when you've got those type of splits, Gilliam's going to find huge lanes if the defenders aren't able to fight across their face. And you see him power himself into the end zone, fighting off Zuzi Webster, who tried to make the tackle. They're showing they can play a physical brand of football, not just a team that can beat you with the finesse game. The run through. Matt Blair, their kickoff specialist to kick it away. Merritt, the deep man for Eastern Washington. Last two drives, they've only burned two minutes off the clock, but they've been effective running it as a one-yard line. This one will start just outside the eight. Barrier hands it off, up the gut. They found good yardage there between the tackles. From the offensive lineman in the middle of this offensive line in the gut of it. McPherson straight ahead. Not much doing this time. A couple yards as Bland bottles things up. Now is playing kind of a spy position on the outside, keeping an eye on Barrier. McPherson gets to the edge and he has a first down. A good first drive. They've been stagnant since. Barrier goes to the air. It's his tight end. Henderson Belk turns it upfield, and he has a first down inside the 30. Listen to the football and power himself up for the first down. And they have Pierce, a running back, lined up in a slot. Barrier over the middle, has a man. It's a on the line of scrimmage this time. Handoff. No, fake the handoff. It's Belk, the tight end again. And he finds the end zone. UC Davis decided not to cover Belk on that entire drive. You see the secret weapon, you got to cover him up. But you see Belk comes off the line of scrimmage like he's getting ready to block. Anthony Baumgart allows him to release to the outside. You've got to play your position, not look for the big play. And you see on that play, Baumgart gave up the big play, allowing Belk to release to the outside, and no one covered him. Alco Bendez ties it up with the extra point. We talked to... Bodie Reeder, the offensive coordinator, he says, we love our tight ends. We like to feed him the ball whenever we can, and that was Belk's drive. Well, watch on the outside. Belk goes with the initial block like he's going to block, and then he almost dropped the ball. He was so excited because no one was there to cover him up. I think Baumgart has to make sure he stays with the tight end. You can't squeeze down and look at the ball. For the touchdown grab, a trip to the FCS semifinals, a date with Maine. Upcoming to the winner, and the winner of this one will host that game. Here's Martinez on the return for the Aggies. Nice return to the 30, and gives him good field position at the 32 yard. With the advantage in total yardage, under four minutes to go here, first half. Mayer, all kinds of time. Deep ball, he wants Doss into double coverage. It's picked off. Doss. Smith's first pick of the year, a big one. Here's Barrier now. With time to work with, he'll just drives. He'll go with three receivers to the left side of the formation here. Quarterback keeper. And did not fool the Aggies. Gets back. Get to the outside. Barrier. Far sideline. And incomplete. Both. Offensive player, they don't turn around and locate the football. Great job by White. Man, That's 19 pass breakups so far this season. Yeah, number one in the big sky in that category. Here's the punt now from Alco Bendez. Modise a chance at a return. He's to the 40. Modise, excellent right up the hash. And Mayer, the key was don't turn it over after coughing it up five times in the last meeting. They go to the ground game. Gilliam right up the game. Calls for lanes for these running backs to run through. And here's Gilliam again. And he has a first down, and he has more to the outside, and he's run out of bounds inside the 30. Beat the defender. See two of the top scoring teams in the country. Defense has stepped up here in the first half. So far, Mayer in some trouble this time. Rolling. Now he's going to tuck it, and he runs out of bounds back near the another score on the board here and take the lead before halftime. Mayer, a Peyton Award candidate. 
Gonna run it this time with Thomas. And he so some of the players who they caught Eastern Washington, they ran the football on obvious passing downs. Mayer zips it for a first down. It's a grab by Doss, and they've got a first down. Big. 17-yard pickup. Now back to the ground game. It's Thomas. The Diesel's hit once and twice. He's going to go Wildcat. Thomas is going to take the direct snap to the short side of the field. Turns it up. Thomas hit and drops a slot to the right on third and one. He's in motion now. Handoff Gilliam spins, and I don't think he got behind the QB. And you got Doss with single coverage on the outside at the top of the screen. They snap it. Gilliam end around. It's Livingston. He's going to throw it. Intercepted. Tried to throw it back to the corner. Matt Blair to kick it away. And Merritt from his goal line will return this one. And he ran away from him. Here's Barrier on first down, and he's intercepted. Tries to go in the backfield with Mayer. It's the handoff. Gilliam running right, up the gut between the tackles, and down to the door. Still a yard shy, third and one now. Gilliam, first down and more. Inside the 15, Crawford in motion. Mayer over the middle. Goes underneath for a short game. Quarter. Mayer pitches it to Gilliam. Short side of the field on the run, nothing doing. He may have lost yardage. Some movement. Mayer to the end zone, back shoulder throw. Babb has it for the touchdown. The true freshman, they're taking advantage of the red shirt rule. He's getting action late in the year, and he makes a big grab with Tucker covering to give him the lead. Big play and big throw to the outside. Delando Tucker had great coverage. You couldn't ask for anything else from Tucker on that play. The junior from Rockland, California. Makes it a seven-point game. 21-4. Matt Blair from the 35-yard line. A knuckleball. Merritt picks it up at the five-yard line. Dennis Merritt hit hard and knocked down at the... Eastern Washington now trailing. They'll go to the air with Barrier into Webster's hands. Bounces off one guy, run out of bounds. Receivers to get north and south. First and 16 after the catch and then the mark off and they'll run it with. He's using his center of gravity very well to stay below the offensive lineman. Time for Barrier and he spots his target for a first down. Johnny Edwards from the 39 now. They'll run it with McPherson. Cuts it upfield. Puts his head down. He's just a For UC Davis in the ball game to try and tire those guys out. McPherson left. Cuts it up. First down. Inside the 45. Would be tackles. That's what you've got to do if you're Eastern Washington. Continue to feed the beast. They got to merit this time. And Merritt trying to get to the ramping up the tempo. You called it earlier. Second and four now. Play action this time for Barrier. Goes to the sideline. Boston with the catch. Olave stays right with him. Good tackle from the corner. Who hits? See the third down numbers. They need three to pick this one up. They shuttle into the hands of Merritt, trying to get to the edge. Bland won't let him do it. Alco Bendez, first team all big sky punter, gets the kick away end over end. Fair catch made at. Doss is over there. They'll pitch it right. Gilliam makes a man miss. Turns it upfield. Webster standing back inside his 10, awaiting it. End over end. Call it for the fair catch and make pressure once again on Barrier and not allow him to get up the field with the football. Here's McPherson straight ahead for a couple to the 21 yard line. Open up the RPO in the play action game. They're going to throw it here on second down. Barrier over the middle. And that will be Grady. He'll be short of the stick. They're going to mark quite a bit. Third and six. Barrier rolling right. Throwing on the run. Looking for Webster. Too tall with that one. Perform on the field and off the field in community service. We'll kick this one from his 10-yard line. It's a good one. 
Odise called for a fair catch and he makes it. I'd love to see my offensive line brethren get opportunities. I love seeing you give love to those offensive linemen with your comments and you, you love what they bring to the table. They go to Crawford, the Aggies do on first down. Aggressive bunch, they have a mix of veterans and young guys in there. Here's Mayer now with a deep drop, deep ball, looking for Doss, tipped and almost intercepted. If they can get the matchup they like. He goes to Harrell, short of the stick. Coming out of the backfield. Crawford in motion here, and they'll go back to the run game with Gilliam, who stumbles out of the gate. And goes. On second and long. Mayer behind is it. Mayer. Crawford. No. They get the snap away. Here's Whelan from the 30-yard line. Webster's going to let it hit at the 30. And it'll roll inside the 20. Gets a big roll for the Aggies and out of bounds to the 11-yard line. 35 to go, third quarter. Eagles have the football back from their 11-yard line. Barrier over the middle. Tight end has it. It's Belk. A delayed release in the middle of the field. McPherson straight ahead. And McPherson to the 26. The Jordan Franklin on the stop. For UC Davis to get subs in. McPherson trying to cut it back. And one of those checking off along with Parento. Pressure coming. Barrier stepping up. He's hit by Baumgart. And down he goes with help from Mendez to punt it away from his 15 yard line. Amani Modise will let it hit at the 37, picks it up on the hop at the 30, makes a man miss. Kind of two guy in the passing game, seven catches for 103. They'll throw it to Gilliam in the flat. Gang tackled after maybe a horse. And they'll go to him again here. Slanting left across the 40. Good run up to the 40. And then three receivers to the left. In motion is Harrell. They'll pitch it to Gilliam. Does he get there? No, he's run out of bounds. Webster already has a punt return for a touchdown this season, awaits this punt from Daniel Whelan. He's gonna call for a fair catch, and he five punts and interception. They do have that 91-yard touchdown drive. They'll go on the ground here. Straight ahead, it's McPherson, and a big gain for number You're able to do that. You're able to get positive yards. This is Williams in motion behind the backfield, and Barrier goes over the middle, caught by Webster, and he has a first down at the middle of the field. Now Barrier to the sideline, and a short gain. Grady will pull it. 12 minutes to go here. A trip to the FCS semifinals and a date with Maine is on the line. Barrier, pressure coming from Moy. Going to step up and run it. And positive yardage. Barrier, handoff to McPherson. Wants to throw it. Wide open is Merritt at the 20. Merritt inside the 10 and run out of bounds. They used to throw on it. They put a little bit too much on it. A good job on that pass play. First and goal from the eight. They run McPherson. Pistol look again. Running back behind the quarterback on a second and goal. Handoff. No, Barry ain't going to keep it. And he is in for the touchdown. Great decision by Barrier on the RPO. He read Baumgart coming down on the inside. And he was for the tie. Got it. We're tied at 21. And which offense can make the big plays? A personal foul penalty. They attack it on, and it's added on this kickoff, which is from the 50 yard line. Bounced up there to Modise, and that allows the cover team. And a penalty flag for the back judge. Crawford on an end around. Green, you can see his helmet. Pressure coming. Incomplete. They rush four with the blitz. Pass is delivered on the money for a first down. Eight catches for 116 for Doss. They go back to the ground game now. And Gilliam, and he gets a couple yards to the 31-yard line. 
They rush four. Crawford. Short game. Far sideline. Split out. Mayer looking that way. He wants Doss. Back shoulder throw. It's off the mark. Fourth down. Webster, a dangerous return man at his own 33, awaits it. And he did not hit it well. Off the side of his foot. It'll take a backwards hop, and this will give the Eagles excellent. Looking to throw it here. Steps up. Deep ball downfield for Boston. In stride. He makes the catch. It'll be first and goal for Eastern Washington. From the seven. Play action to the sideline. Webster, touchdown. Eagles, they're in front. Too easy. I thought on that play, number 20, Vincent White could have made a play on the football on the big pass. And you see they're able to get the ball to the outside. You see right here, Barrier has all the time that he needs to deliver a strike down the field. Look at 20. He's shocking the football. You've got to make a play on it. And then on the next play, Barrier is able to hit his back on the outside to get the easy score. And the extra point is blocked. There is. Got it. From Slider. It's going to squib it. It's not going to give Nomani a chance to return it. It bounces off of White. And it's recovered by UC Davis. And this is Christian Skepteris. And he takes it up to the four yard line. Trailing by a score now. First time they've trailed since 7 0 in the first quarter. Mayer incomplete. It's bottom of the screen. They'll run it with Gilliam. And he loses. It is 24. Wheeland gets off a booming punt. And the fair catch called for and made 13-yard line. They'll hand it off to McPherson. McPherson, he's hit in the backfield, and he lost yardage. Two as we near the five-minute mark. Hand off again. They play close to the vest. A conservative call with McPherson. Burn. Well enough where you can feel confident about them. But you know if you get a first down, you put more pressure. And he wanted to hand it off, but Berrier in some trouble. And he goes down. Is he in the end zone? He keeps his footing. He's out of the end zone somehow. And they're going to mark him down. Alco Bendez gets the kick away. It's a liner. Hits at the 35. And hit is Modise. And a flag goes down. They didn't give him a chance to field five to go. Here's Gilliam. After a low snap, gets it to the... Mayer off his back foot, high throw. They rush four. Mayer, Doss, he's got it inside the 15. First row trips to the right side. Doss in motion this time. Mayer, knocked down at the line of scrimmage. That looked like the pistol look this time, and now they shuffle Gilliam out of the backfield. They run option a little. Pitch to the tight end, Priest. Little shuttle pass, and he's inside the 10. For Gilliam, straight ahead, off tackle now. Leaning in, and he's close to the first down. It appears to have it. To run the ball at least once and stop the clock if they don't get the touchdown. Harrell in motion. Mayer, little shuttle. It's Gilliam. He's in. Touchdown, Aggies. They go to the... Shuttle pass up the middle of the formation again, and Gilliam has his third rushing touchdown, and they're an extra point away from tying this one up. Or will they go for two? <laughs> you talked about it earlier. Absolutely, and once again, they had an opportunity to run the football. They had success with the tight end Priest running the shuttle pass, and they get the shuffle pass once again, but now to their back. They are showing that they're going for two here. And I expect this from Coach Hawkins. Empty backfield. In motion, Gilliam. A pitch to Modise. Can he get there? Yes! The two-pointer is good. And UC Davis takes the lead. The Eagles just need a field goal. They'll start from the 25-yard line. All three timeouts remaining. Berrier in trouble. Evades a would-be tackler. Now he's going to tuck it and run. Berrier in the open field. Midfield, and he's out of bounds. 
29 yard carry. They're now on the Aggies side of the field with under a minute to go. Verrier navigating, throwing on the run incomplete. Hit 46. Still have those three timeouts. They'll go a little slip screen. It's Webster inside the 40, and he has a first down. Just shy of the 35 yard. Two yard game. It ended up being a first down play. They'll run it here, and it's a big game for McPherson. Turns the corner inside the 10. Touchdown, Eagles. With everything that you talk about and see on defense, the key to winning football games is getting back to the basics and making tackles. You cannot reach out there, you've gotta make tackles. On the last two plays, that opportunity is to make tackles. Right there, you've gotta make that tackle. You cannot allow him to get to the outside because once you're doing, you let McPherson get downhill, you're not going to be able to stop him. A 35 time yard out. touchdown run to give him the lead. Time. Now they'll go for Their two here. Time out. 30 second timeout. And a timeout taken by the Eagles. McPherson with 133 yards since the first quarter. And this is a big run here as he gets to the edge. And in a matter of 47 seconds, they're able to get down the field and get a touchdown. Not a field goal, which is all they needed, but a touchdown. And it's all because of broken tackles. You've got to make those tackles. That is 12 rushing touchdowns for McPherson, who really epitomizes this Eastern Washington program. They talk about EKG, Eastern kind of guys. He's that guy, a Washington kid, blue collar, five 100 yard games. Dan Hawkins now with just one timeout and 26 seconds left, but we have a two point play here that could loom large as well. And it looks like they're gonna go wildcat here with McPherson taking the direct snap. McPherson looking to throw it, and it's intercepted. Picked off by Olave in the two. Dice is the deep man. Martinez is also back, and Slider's going to kick it away over the head of Martinez, and that'll reach the end zone for the touchback. Mayer steps up, going to run it, slides down near the 30 yard. Mayer, backside pressure, down he goes, Jim Townsend with the sack. And the fumble, ball game. Eagles recover it, and they can put the finishing touches on this one. And when you're able to get pressure with three pass rushers, the offensive line had to do a better job. You've got five against three. You've got to be able to block that up and give Mayer the time he needs to try to get down the field. I think. When they gave up that touchdown, the offense was just, they, they tried to come out and get a score, but that just breaks you down when you play so well. But watch here, you've got three pass rushers. They're running the tackle and stunt. The two ends are able to get to the quarterback. You cannot allow that to happen. You've got to be able to block five against three. But the morale of the offense seemed to be down when the defense gave up that touchdown in 47 seconds. And a defense that has really put their mark on this program, it's been about offense through the years. Cooper